Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to the Warriors. Last time, the Destroyers stomped all over our turf and killed Ash. This time, it's time for a little bit of revenge. Virgil's gone way too far this time. We're going to war tonight. I want all the Destroyers stomped out. Now they know we're coming, and Virgil's going to be held up in the hangout. If we bop right in there, we're going to get wasted. Bullshit, we're going to have kill to kill them all! Burn it. But Warlord, they killed Ash! Listen Ed. to they me! Kick. We gotta use our heads! We're going to have to draw them out. Take them down, bit by bit. Everyone split up into war parties. Divide and conquer. Take out everything they got. Gambling, pimping, and their stores. They won't have no choice but to send out their soldiers. It's time to end these fools. Let's do it! Take out everything under destroyer protection. You clear that shit, man. You could You ain't allowed to muscle in here, warrior. I almost swear I already snuffed out this burner. Oh well. You up. Here you go. Apparently, Vermin felt like I needed that. Catch, motherfucker! Somebody make a move. We got plenty of Here we go, warriors! I got what you need, fella. <coughs> Let's rumble these queers! <coughs> and maybe we should <coughs> practice! Most of the destroyers you fight during this level are gonna be pretty well armed, but really it doesn't matter what weapons they have, because they're destroyers, and they're just not as good as us. Fuck with the warriors? Come on! Let's tear this place to the ground, oh, what warriors! Are you doing? You sure are stupid out here. Those of you with sharp eyes may recognize this pharmacy and in fact this level in general. We're going full circle from where we were in the third level of the game. The main difference being that this time when we break into stores, we don't have to deal with the cops, just the destroyers. Ooh, you fucking done for! Snow. Snow. Oh, there we go. Let's move it! Let's move it! The warriors is big shit now! Get those little bitches! We'll go right! Get your ass over here! Help me out! Come on! Kill him! As mentioned earlier, uh, the idea of this mission, at least to begin with, is to mess up the destroyer's businesses. Much like they tried to do with us. The main difference being that we're actually competent. It's also fairly easy to keep your supplies pretty high during this level. Well, if the stores you bust into, you're bound to get quite a bit of money, which can be used to buy Flash. I knocked your ass at the last one! Let's move it! Okay, let's move Whoa, that's it! Hello there, boys. <laughs> this shit'll bring you up, and you ain't never coming down, man. Never. See you later, man. I look like a sucker to you, blood. You 
want to do some partying tonight? Take him apart! Come on, we can do this easy. Aside from the women for the pimp using mace, he's not too much of a threat. He himself has quite a bit of health, and uh, he also usually carries at least two knives. A pretty nice touch for this level is that a bunch of the tags we already snuffed over still have the red W over them. We already passed by one and a couple have appeared in the fringes of the video, but it's a nice little continuity bit. There is a nice little bonus mission here to take out the pit boss who's the guy behind the fence. He's fairly well defended so the only good way to take him out is with a Molotov. My aim's not always great, but I managed to get him this time in one shot. Let's move it! Yes, sir. Luckily, it doesn't take more than one Molotov to get that taken care of. Virgil, LC says the Warriors are tearing up our stores. <clears throat> They're messing with our money, man. Those stores are under our protection. Never thought Cleon to get so heavy. You think I don't know what's going on? Ah! You think I'm a nutter? Ah! I know what's going on! I expect it! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face! What you doing, Cleon? What you got planned? All their soldiers gotta be marching by now. Let's clean up the streets! At this point, the level really starts to open up. We see a lot of gang warfare really just going on the streets. The warriors and the destroyers are finally full-on going at it. It's probably my favorite part of the level, if not one of the best parts of the game. Our mission here is to take out the destroyer lieutenants, which uh, we'll find various groups of destroyers fighting groups of warriors the whole time. Sucker! You ready to bleed? Cause I'm gonna make you piss blood! Here, I'll 
I'll fill you in again! And I'll fuck you up! Let's move it! You got it! How's that Come on, on check out my pimp! Fucking ass off! Make you cry like a little fucking girl! You know how many flash I got? Not yet, fucker! Let's move it! I should be warned, Chief Asshole! It's not my fault you walked into my fist, Ajax. If you're so inclined, there's also a blade dealer down here, but... It's... Kind of not really cheap for 50 bucks for a weapon that's just gonna break in a few hits. It's nice to have the one-hit kill, but... Overall, I don't find it really worth it. Time to show him who owns these yeah, streets. Yeah. At this point, we find ourselves back again at the destroyer's hangout. Only this time, we're not hiding the shadows and taking them out one by one. It's time for the full-on gang war. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! 
question came up in the Something Awful thread over whether pool balls can be used like projectiles, like beer bottles or bricks. The answer to this is... yes. Virgil ain't nowhere around here, man! That fucking snake must have split. Look! There goes Virgil's junky bitch! Vermin, come with me. You guys finish trashing this shithole. Then get back to the hangout in case the pigs catch wind. I really like the way Snow's voice actor does that line about Virgil's junkie bitch. That almost sounds like reverence. In any case, we have another short stealth section here. Luckily, the camera angles really work with us, and there aren't any particularly tricky minutes when LC turns around and you don't expect it. Honestly, I'm a little bit confused as to how you'd be able to lose the guy in this area, considering it's... well, it's a one-way alley. So we find ourselves in a three-phase boss fight against Virgil. The first phase is mostly us, just us pelting him with bricks and bottles, whatever's lying around. He'll occasionally pull out his own bottles, or he'll actually pull a Molotov cocktail out of his jacket to throw at us. Once you get him down about three-quarters of his health, the next phase will start. The next part of the fight is in this next portion of the warehouse. It'll start off with Virgil hiding in one of these shadowy areas, and then he'll come out and do some kind of move that will completely disable you. You see here, he kicks Vermin in the nuts, and the camera angle completely changes. 
usually how this will work out is he'll, be, he'll actually be attacking you. Since uh, he didn't attack Cleon, I'm able to respond to him and actually get him through a bit more of his health than normal. Most of the time going through this area, I have the most trouble with it, because you don't have that much time to attack him before he really hits you in the hits you in the nuts or something, and you can't respond. The third phase is pretty straightforward, just a one-on-one -on -one fight, well, two-on-one -on -one fight with Virgil. He is grapplable, though it's difficult to pull off sometimes, and pretty much any of your normal moves to stumble or stagger him will work. Virgil will have these little moments where he'll rage out like that, and he'll start doing sweeping attacks where he'll just swing around wildly and you'll get hit in the face. He does have invincibility frames during that time, so you can't stagger him, you can't grab him, you can't do anything. Luckily enough, he catches on fire pretty easily. It is possible to build up your rage meter, and it is very possible to grab him and do one of your special power moves. Problem being that, as mentioned, when he's flailing around wildly like this, you don't really have an opportunity to grab him. Really, the best way to keep him off balance is just to, is just to keep using your three square combo or square and X. It'll keep him staggered long enough for you to really lay into him. If you try to grab him, some most of the time he will counter, so that's a problem. to finish this off with a rage power move, but it just wasn't meant to be. Instead, he sets himself on fire, so it works. Fuck. Fuck you, Copperhead. I'm the boss. You was nothing. You was nothing before me. Nothing! Open your eyes, motherfucker. And with that, we finally find the end of Destroyers. It's been fun, it's been real, but it ain't been real fun. Please join me next time when we meet the Turnbull ACs and take on some of the boys in blue. Until then, stay loose, boppers. <laughs>